Hello everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create and we're working on page eight. Yay! Page eight of Chow, uh, yeah, Chow Bella's Christmas Vibes. And this is actually one of my favorite pages. Um, it's just so nostalgic. I just love it. The papers, the records, which, you know, we just don't see anymore. So it's very nostalgic to me. So it's going to be a pretty simple page, much like page one where the flap is going to come down but not quite meet the pocket so there's enough of a gap for us to tuck something into it and hold the flap down. So again, this is going to be another non-magnet page. I, I do try to sprinkle them in, although I do have to say, if I'm not doing something like this, it is my preferred method for closing interactive elements because you can place a photo on top of it if you want. But if you're doing swing tabs or bows and stuff like that, it makes it a little bit harder to figure out um, where you might place a photo. So having said all that, let's get started. So the pocket is four and three eighths, four and three eighths across, and it is nine inches. So I said that wrong. Nine inches across, four and three eighths tall. You're gonna score a half inch on three sides to make a pocket. And I can hear my dog talking to me in the background. I don't know what she wants because we already went for a walk and she has food. So it must just be attention, but you might hear some oh, crying in the background or talking. Anyways, so I think um, all this working on these Christmas papers in the last few weeks, and it's been fun working with different brands. So I just finished a Stamperia. This is a Ciao Bella. Before that, I did a Graphic 45. So I've got uh, something Christmas and uh, most of the brands, I think Blue Fern is the only one I haven't done uh, yet. And I'm not sure we have a Christmas collection on Blue Fern yet. So maybe that's why I haven't done it yet. Um, so this is gonna go in the pocket. This is the second half. This is the top half of a 12 by 12 and I just cut some of the middle part out. So it'll fit here. Actually, let's finish with the interactive elements. So now we have our flap. And it is four and a half. Did I get that right? Yep, four and a half by eight. Score a half inch on the four and a half inch side. It's gonna get installed on the top side, the top of the pocket page. And I keep double checking to make sure this is in the right orientation because I did build out a sequence. <clears throat> there we go. And let me see if I can find. Yeah, I'll just use this, the back side of this paper. So you can see there's a gap between the flap and the pocket that's deliberate, and that is so that you can slide an insert in to hold it closed. This insert is seven by seven. Okay, let's decorate. All right, so here's my wonderful record. It's going to go on the bottom. And I don't have to worry about magnets, as I mentioned. <clears throat> there we go. She's so funny. It's probably something like a toy she can't reach, but... I'll find out shortly. It's going to go on the top, like so. I really wanted to preserve the Christmas edition. I thought that was pretty cool. I had not eaten this one. This is a really simple, basic page, um, but it, you know, you can put a whole bunch of pictures in here. So when I say basic, I mean, it's really kind of like a beginner page because it's just one flap and one pocket. So it's pretty straightforward, it's easy to do. In fact, this whole album is pretty, pretty easy. I've done some that are more complex. This is definitely not among them.
There we go. So there's the flap in the pocket. This is our seven by seven insert. I had this scrap red paper, which I really like. And this is four by six and a half, four by six and a half. And so when it's closed, it's gonna look like that. It needed something besides this, this um, print in the background. So now let's start with the inside. What are we gonna do with the inside? So I need to find a piece that's big enough to cover or at least split somehow between these two. And I definitely wanna use some red here. And so I've got this, this beautiful paper. So it's a question of how I wanna use it. I think I might put it down here and then see if I can't reintroduce some of this, which I do have, but not very much of it. Or is this it? Yeah, this is it. So let me look around a little bit and I'll, when I come back, we'll finish that. Okay. I found this beautiful eight by eight and that's what I'm gonna use. I was thinking about color blocking two patterns, but since this already has the poinsettia on this side, I'm gonna keep it simple. So this is just basically an eight uh, by eight and I trimmed it to fit and I used the whole thing. So part of it's gonna go slightly in the pocket. Let's get it inked. So the last thing I'm gonna do, which is unusual, is the cover. So the next time we get together, that's what we'll be working on. And I have to spend a few minutes trying to figure out what the right side is. As I've gone over numerous times in a series of videos, I don't read music, so it might as well be a Greek. If I can't find the staff, I'm confused. This is gonna make it easy because there's the bird on the flip side, so I know this is the right side. And as you probably noticed, I had it in up the wrong way initially. So they're not exactly the same size. One of them's slightly bigger, so I needed to make sure I was putting it in the right location. Again, we're working on page eight. So we're just wrapping up on page eight. And then the next thing will be, um, like I said, the cover of um, the album. I think maybe my dog finished eating and she thinks she needs a treat. So I'll go check on that. Then we'll go over the inserts one more time and I may even make an additional insert just based on how it looks. It may look like it needs something else. We'll see. <laughs> Can hear shrill, shrill. There we go. I like it, I like it, I like it. Okay, so for now we're gonna put these two in. And then I think I might put yet one more in here. So I'll be back in a minute. All right, I'm kind of digging through my scraps and I saw that I had already made this previously and I don't know why I hadn't used it yet, but I'm gonna add it to this pocket. And that is going to be, it's got a little bit bowed on me. There we go. That's gonna be the end of page eight, okay? I'll be back soon and we will work on um, the cover. 